All right guys, today is the day. We're gonna get this fence set up on this side. We're gonna move the boys and Betty over here. This side needs to be munched down. We don't have any goats on it yet. And then we're gonna get the female mamas out on that side. We use that side because it's easier uh, to get up to and to milk and to put a milk stand on. This side is really, really sloped, so a milk stand doesn't sit very well up there and sometimes the goats even had a hard time getting up on the milk stand. We found that all out last year, so not gonna make the same mistake. So we're gonna go up here, get the fence set up, and then when Elizabeth gets back, we'll start moving the goats around. Well, we got it all set up. Got their little house in there. I gotta make sure the electrical works. And I gotta get the water turned on on this side now. There's a valve on the other pasture. Uh, I'm just hoping everything works and there's no leaks. This is that black uh, flex pipe stuff. Which still is pretty good at not breaking. It doesn't get old and brittle like PVC does. So we're just gonna follow it on the other side and go turn it on. All right, kids are helping me. We're gonna grab, hopefully we can grab Aunt Betty and everybody follows. The boys tend to follow the leader, so we'll see. Okay, Maddie is, she wanted to do the goats, so she's doing the goats. I'm gonna come over here and flip this water on and watch out for snakes, because we've been seeing a lot of snakes up here. <laughs> so this water valve right here controls that side. So, let's see if it works. That's a good sign. Maddie's doing a good job. She's got him up there. Well, the bad is my valve's busted. So I'm gonna fill this water up and then uh, we'll have to go back over on the other side and turn it back off until I can buy a new valve because I don't think I have one here. All right, that's where they get to be. Look at all that grass, weeds, brush. They get to eat it all. Now we gotta go carry the milk stand up to this other side, figure out when we're gonna move the females up, and I might finish it up. Let's figure out how to get this milk stand on that four wheeler. We got the milk stand up here. I'm gonna put this sprinkler down here because this definitely needs some water since the goats are beating it down. All right, here's good. Now all we gotta do is move the females up here and I think we're good to go. Best back, we're gonna get these females out. Although the babies, this is gonna be challenging because the mamas are gonna to wanna to come back to the babies, but it is time. They've mainly weaned them, but they're still used to being close by. So moving them out definitely weans them if they're not completely weaned yet. Uh, but yeah, so this should be interesting. I guess Pearl's coming too. And River's, River's coming too. And the babies are probably gonna be right behind them. Now this definitely isn't always the favorite part because you know, listen to the poor little guy's whine, but it's part of it. All right, all done. Look how happy they are. So they haven't gotten to eat today because we ran out of hay. And uh, we knew we were planning on moving them up here today, but look how happy they are. Hey, Maple. How are you? Hey, Maple. How are you, honey? Yeah. They're so happy. Look at them. Going to town. <laughs> cool. That's off the list. Guys, we got our gobble gobbles. <laughs> we got our turkeys. <laughs> All right, I got the brooder set up. Elizabeth went down to the post office and got them uh, because they called it 6 a.m. and we didn't have any of this stuff set up. So we got it all set up. Now we're gonna take them out of the box and put them in there. Oh, look, we got our baby turkeys. These are my favorite. Oh, no. Hi. Wake up. He was getting smushed. 
I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh, maybe. Put a spacer in some water, perk him up. Here you go, honey. Some water, and some food over here, and some heat. I don't know, he's pretty weak. The rest look pretty good. Hi, babies. Need some water. Oh, he's up. He's moving. Oh, this one's good. Yeah. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, I love turkeys. Someday I'm going to have a big turkey that just runs around the farm that doesn't get eaten. So we ordered 15. I don't know. He's that one moving. just bounced around a little bit, but uh, I don't think it's going to make it. I don't think so either. He's weak. So typically when you order meat birds, they'll send some extras, but turkeys are so expensive that I think you literally get what you order. Yeah. So we might have to call the hatchery on that one, but they're usually really good at taking care of that. But we'll see. We'll give him a little while and see how he does, or she does, whatever it is. Elizabeth will do her thing and nurse him back to health. So these are, what are these, broad-breasted whites? Yes. These are the ones we raise every single year. They'll be ready before Thanksgiving, anywhere from 15 to 25 to pounds, depending on how long you let them grow out. Well, our little turkey didn't make it. No, he didn't. Poor little Sad. guy. Now it's time to go out and do all the chores this morning. It usually takes us, what do you think it takes us every day? Hour in the morning? Hour, hour and a half. Yeah, hour, it takes hour me and like half. a half an hour to milk and then another hour in the evening. And that, well, 45 minutes if you count moving them and all of that, yeah. filling the water. And... All right, now we just gotta climb the mountain. People always tell me to use um, a bucket and I can milk with both hands, but if you look, River is not shaped properly for that. It goes to the sides. <laughs> Her teats aren't very good. No, but she's, but she's a, good a good producer, producer really good. and she's my favorite. She's the most, she's just a sweet goat. She's my friend. She was our first goat that we got when we moved up here. Yep. See, this is off just River. And I'm not done with her yet. Good producer. We're gonna have she is shaped a little different. Half gallon off one goat. That's pretty good. We get that about twice a day. So a full gallon off a river every single day. Probably not quite a full gallon, but pretty darn close. Pretty close. Full gallon every day. That's like double what she used to produce. So the more you milk, the more they produce. Plus she had more babies this year. Once she had three or four this year. She had three this year. Yeah. So. All right, River. Thank you. Go ahead, Pearl. Thank you, ma'am. Hi, Miss Pearl. Good morning. All right, Miss Pearl. Thank you. Hi, Kate. Good morning. Hi, Miss Millie. Go ahead. And sometimes it just doesn't go as you plan. And Pearl's still out and she's going to stay out until we're done milking. And, and then we'll chase her down. So she's being more aggressive. Yeah, Millie's in heat too. They so. always act kind of crazy during that time. Really? 
<laughs> Not today. She's calling in sick. Not today, she says. She knows. Oh, yeah. Today, these girls do not want to be milked, as you can see. That happens sometimes. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. Look, she gets up there all yeah, by herself. Yeah, Elizabeth caught her and she jumped right back up there by herself. <laughs> she definitely knows, but sometimes they just don't want it to happen. They're just like us, right? They, some days they just don't want to do it.